yeah, I can keep this one. I'll put back a questing beast. We can pelt collector into Domri's on something. Hopefully draw something that resembles a creature at some point. Probably lead on the forest pelt collector. Turn two, we can Domri's ambush on something. Yeah, that's pretty good too. So now we have pelt collector, Domri's, and the Phoenix. Opponent may actually be playing uh, the Phoenix deck here. Interesting. Here comes the shock, I'm guessing. I have single to him, I don't have anything in hand. I'm playing the stomping ground tap, so if he's got removal, he can use it here. I'd rather use it against my pellet collector than my phoenix next turn. Maybe he's just holding back for an opt or something? Throw the possibilities. Okay, so yeah, this is in fact with the R play phoenix deck. Uh, that um, was being played uh, by uh, Bowmeister this week. See how it goes. If that's the case, I think I just want to play the 3 3 uh, with X proof here. Um, okay, that's fine. I've got lots of pressure in hand, so if he wants to keep countering stuff, he's welcome to. I'm not particularly concerned about that. Okay, so 2 2. Uh, I'm going to Domri's Ambush it next turn. No situation where I don't ambush that while it doesn't, it's not out of hand. Throw down the Temple of Abandon. Uh, yep, I do want that. Even if I just play it on Pell Collector next turn or something, or if I quest some beast next turn and then the following turn, try to Embercleave. They don't have that many counters in this deck. They do have a couple main board, but not many. It looks like opponent's gonna try and get in for another two here. Okay. Sure. So that opens the door for me to get down Questing Beast. And then attack him for seven, I think, unless he shocks the Bell Collector here, which he might very well do. Like Terramanders, okay. Come in for seven that he can't block here. Got him on a one turn clock, and then next turn I have the Ember Cleave up. So let's see what he does here. Like, he can do a lot of damage this turn, but I don't know that he can do 16. This costs three or four, four. Six, he plays a spell, it'd be seven. Alright, let's see how the opponent takes their way out of this one. If they didn't tap out for Questing Beast, it might have been a trickier play, but... I don't know what they do to get rid of Questing Beast here, except maybe like Brazen Borrower. Okay. Well, that's not going to stop the Ember Cleave next turn. Okay, so if I attack, if I play this and I attack with three creatures, uh, then I need three mana to play the Ember Cleave, and I will have it, so that's fine. Let's put it down, we'll attack with everything, see how he blocks, and then Ember Cleave appropriately. I find it hard to believe that they survived this. Okay. So yeah, opponent's just dead here. This 
Questing Beast is swinging for 10 right now. Okay. Okay. There we go. I, I have really no idea why he's been tapping out every turn. At Belgrath. Uh, it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, if he didn't tap out and let me put down Questing Beast, this is a much different game. But he's just been like tapping out every single turn. Um, okay, so I want the Soul Guide Lanterns here. Uh, I do want the Red Caps. I do want the Lava Coils. Um, I also want the Shifting Ceratops. It's really good against like almost everything he's playing. Um, so what don't I want? I think I can cut one Ember Cleave. He's gonna, probably going to bring in more counter spells. Uh, I can probably cut the Puff Collectors. They seem pretty slow and useless here. Um, and the Phoenix does not line up well. And I cut the Phoenix as well. Um, the question is, do I want to cut a Scargan? I think I do. And I'm going to cut one Temple on the play. Or on the draw, rather. Welcome to the stream. If you're just joining and you're in chat, feel free to say hey, claim yourself a MPG Arena code. I have lots to give away courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I've joined the Wizards Content Creator Program and uh, they've generously gifted me with a whole lot of codes to give out to uh, my community. So feel free to say hi and grab whatever codes you'd like. I will dump some in chat for everyone who signs up. In fact, for the next follower, I'll dump one for everyone who's in chat. Yeah, this seems good. Got a fistful of removal. Uh, the Stone Coil Serpent eventually. Uh, so we just want to temple on turn one, look for more land, and then get down the Stone Coil Serpent that has reach. off on a mountain tells me that they don't have an opt in hand. Um, not looking for another shifting ceratops right now. Okay, so he's having blue mana problems. Just gonna go ahead and make a 3 3 here with the Zerta. Uh, make it a little trickier for him to kill. And we'll start putting pressure next turn. Uh, we'll put the Stone Coil Serpent once we can get to 5 mana. My opponent's not spending any mana. Maybe they learned their lesson last game. They plan on flashing everything in here. Not sure what's happening. Okay. Um, so if that's the case, what the hell? We'll just make another 3 3 Zerta. Punches it. Okay, that's fine. You're not. You're not doing a whole lot. You're behind on board. I still have a bunch of removal in hand, so I don't really mind there. For mana, you can like Crackling Drake here. Okay, you do out and then one spell to hit me for two. Interesting. Okay, so let's attack and see what he does. I, not attacking through makes me think he's gonna try some fancy block shenanigans. No way. Okay, if he taps out again here, uh, I will Bone Crusher. Yeah. What did he ditch? Shock. Okay, so patience on uh, Stone Coil has been paying off. He did have a shock in hand he just discarded, so that's good. Show the possibilities, interesting. 
What is he digging for exactly? We haven't seen any Arclight Phoenixes. The opponent's just unlucky, or maybe they're not playing it and they're just playing the straight out Drake build. Um, but yeah, we can just play the Shifting Ceratops now with haste, get in for a lot of damage. I don't know how he deals with this thing. None of his creatures can block it. Oh, okay, that's how. I spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Okay, first opt of the match, I think. Okay. I, I really have no idea what's going on on the opponent's side. He's done almost nothing this entire game. Uh, I could play a huge Stone Coil Serpent here, uh, but I'd rather just Questing Beast get in for some hasty damage. Plus, I'd be more upset if he gets rid of Questing Beast than if he gets rid of Stone Coil. Okay, so opponent just had a handful of removal and... Well, like, not even really... He had a bunch of thrill possibilities to stay in full stroke. He's probably been sitting on the stroke for a while. Still. Okay, draw some cards. Uh, with him being so low on life, I kind of just want to jam an Ember Cleave here and see what happens. If this resolves, the game's pretty much over. Okay. Still at five life. I didn't really have to champ the Ember Cleave there, but there's no reason not to try. It was a little loose, to be fair, but I get to make a huge stone coil here, so. Uh, three, six. Again, if he counters it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. He deserves a nice for that. Why not? Okay. You got me. Four, six, seven. It took him the entire game to deal with our Zirta Goblin. So, yeah, good game. And just like that, we're 4 0. Nice. 